Hello, in this video I'll be showing you a recent improvement made in Shopify at the time of developing apps, extensions and functions. That improvement is the inclusion of GraphQL directly into the Shopify CLI. In previous videos in the channel, such as the one where I create a Shopify function for product discount, one of these steps was to install GraphQL, the GraphQL editor, into our store to run a couple of queries necessary for enabling the function. But now starting on Shopify CLI version 3.53, which was released in early January of 2024, you no longer need to install GraphQL in your store as it comes built in with the CLI. And as mentioned here, it uses the same credentials and scopes of your app, which means that any query you've run there should also work in your app right away because they have the same level of access. Now let's see all of that in action. So I went ahead and created a new Shopify function with the exact same code I used in the product discount function video. I'll be linking that video in the description and somewhere at the top if you want to check step by step what this code is doing. But in summary, the purpose of the function is to create a 10% discount for every product in the cart except for the ones that have the limited edition tag, which I'm querying for over here. That behavior is not something we can do out of the box with Shopify, so a custom function was required. This code, however, is not enough to enable this function in the store, as I still need to run a GraphQL query that will create a discount code and link it to this function. I'll be running here npm run dev, and while that starts up, I want to show you over here that I have Shopify CLI version 3.53 installed in this project. So if you have a version lower than this one, what we'll do next won't show up for you. Now if we take a look here at the CLI, it says that by pressing G, I can open the GraphQL editor in the browser. So I'm going to do just that. And I'm going to install the app. See, it is asking me for that here first. Here we are installing the product discount function app that I just created, not GraphQL itself. And by doing this, I get access right away to GraphQL. Here it says that it is in this store, and this is the app that it is getting the scopes from. So let's verify that this is working by running a simple query such as shop and then name. And here we see the name of the shop. So this is working fine. Now let's delete this and let's run the query for linking the function I just created with this store. So let's do mutation, discount, code app create code at the app discount from here the title will be GraphQL demo discount the function ID will fill this in a moment and it starts at 2024 January 1st and now from this let's get code app discount discount ID and in case there's any error let's get that as well we also have to specify a code here so the code will be GraphQL and now let's also get the function ID that will not have run anyways because we don't have an ID here yet to get this if we go to Shopify Partners here and click on your app, then over here click on Extensions. Here you have the ID. In the previous video, I showed you how to get this using a GraphQL query, but this is uh, another way of getting the same ID, and it is an easier one to do so. Now, if I run this again, I get the discount ID, so the discount was created successfully. Now with this created, let's quickly check it out in the store. So I'm going to go here to discounts, and here this GraphQL demo discount is the one I just created, linked to my app. Now I'm going to click on products, and I'm going to add the limited edition tag to this one. And click here on save. And then let's go to the store here, I'm going to refresh the page. And let's start adding some products to the cart, such as this one, this one, which is the one with the limited edition tag, and a third one. Then let's go to checkout, 
And here in the code, I'm going to use the one that is created, GraphQL. And if I click on apply, it is applying to this one and to this one, but not to this one because it has the limited edition tag. And there you have it. That's how you can use the built-in GraphQL editor that comes with Shopify CLI without needing to install anything else. If you found this video useful, remember to like and subscribe for more Shopify-related content, and I'll see you all in the next video.